sine to power minus one before you open the bracket. So what is that? Angles in IGCS is to one decimal place. Every other uh, value is three significant figures. Okay? Yes, what is that? 61.9. Are you sure? I don't trust John. Check. Yes. <laughs> okay. If I don't trust John, then I don't trust Matthew. If I don't trust Matthew, then I don't trust different people too. And I'm just kidding. Okay. Or, let's use cosine and see what happens. Ready? Uh, of course. Anna, complete this for me. The first thing I expect you to write. A over H. Everybody must remember the acronym. What is the acronym? So Katua. So you write that. So Katua. Okay? So S O H. K C A H. Tua. T O A. And that's how you write this down. Understand? So let's substitute. Substitute for me. Quickly. Cos alpha. Good. Uh, for you, yes? Alpha equals R uh, cos. Our cos. Uh, um, a, a mm -hmm. Bracket. Bracket. Alright, guys, put that in the calculator. Tell us what it is. It's 1.9. Please don't say the same thing. Just press it and check. The idea is for us all to check and be sure. Oh, now let's use tan. Okay? Jody, what's the first thing to write? Tan alpha. Tan alpha. O over A. Tan alpha is equal to O over A. Tan Tiago. No, no, no. Calm down, please. There's no extra food for saying extra work. I know that's the motivation, Jody. There's no extra food. <laughs> Tiago, next. Alpha? I'm talking to Tiago, not someone on this side, because I have someone on this side. Yes, sir. Oh, um, alpha. Yes, sir. Over 15 over is that correct? Class, is that correct? Uh, no. 15 over 8. Mr. Tiago, look at the board there. Jenny, my new friend. What's next? Alpha, Upton, thank you. Good. That's the first time Jenny is speaking to my class. Let's check the time so we can remember this day in history. <laughs> okay, just put that in the calculator, what do you get? So this tells you, either way, you still get your results. Okay? Now, let's look at this Matthew problem. I don't know what Matthew is doing with the ladder, but this is what happens. Sorry, Mr. Matthew. Matthew placed a ladder 13 meters long, so that's the length of the ladder, against a wall. He's trying to pick maybe a soccer ball or something. Who knows? Or maybe he's trying to get food. <laughs> OK, so basically, the ladder will lean against the wall, you expect the world to be somewhere like this. Something like this. Uh -huh. I think I drew the picture before the calculation. I know, I know it's OCD. Sorry, don't blame me. So there will be horizontal floor or ground. This is the wall. So just you know, be a little just to it's gonna be a triangle, that's the idea. I'm just trying to make it look real. Don't do too much. Okay? And this will be the ladder, something like this. Of course, you expect, if it's a normal building, you expect it to be perpendicular to the floor. That's for normal buildings. Okay, now, so Matthew placed a ladder 13 meters long. Which one is 13? A, B, or C? B. 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 I just call it B, doesn't mean it's always called B. Okay, if the foot of the ladder is five meters from the wall. Is it A or B? A. 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 So this is five. 
Okay? The question says, what is the angle between the ladder and the floor? Is it A or B? A. A. So this one. So the angle is unknown. You can call that theta. See, that's another so to problem. Alright? So to problem. So, what trig ratio do we use here? Think before you talk, be sure. Cosine. Cosine, are you sure? Yeah. yeah. It's cosine, of course. Because this will be the opposite, right? Let's label. The opposite is this one. Right? The hypotenuse is this and the adjacent is this. So basically you are dealing with A and H. Understand? So which means cos theta is equal to A over H, just like we have done. Cos theta is equal to 5 over 13. Paris, what do I do next? Quickly. Theta. Mm -hmm. Cos minus. Cos minus, what do we call that? Half cos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Over, somebody check that for us. 67.4. 4. 67.4. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yes. Yes? Yes. Well, you are the right word. Oh, the, the conclusion. The conclusion. Why do I need the conclusion? For a problem. That's a word problem. Thank you very much. So please, uh, do we have time for you to do any practice? No. So I expect you to complete this yourself, guys. DIY. Okay? So just identify if it is sign, if it is cause, or if it is time. And complete it. Okay, so I'm going to write here, therefore, the angle between the ladder and the floor is that. Okay, thank you very much.